Okay, the sun is setting, but we have a really cool adventure for you guys. We think we're uh, through the number two shaft. And uh, so that's like 650 feet into the Yankee Boy. And uh, maybe soon we can get you guys further back into the mine. So let's uh, go for a little tour and we'll show you what we've found. Most of it's probably mental. You don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not going to be the place for you. So after uh, dumping almost uh, 200 and I think about 1980 loads so far out of the number two shaft, we we're fighting these great big huge timbers that were in there. Uh, so we, we think we're done. We're, we're going to go in there and show you guys. So we had to cut this timber into three chunks. And we'll drop it into here. And we had lots of wood coming down. So we think. I think the number two shaft is almost cleared. And I, I said to Sharon, if we went up to the top and roped down, we could probably throw a golf ball in there and we'd come back down and see it on the main hall level. But um, I'm not really sure of that, but that, that's my guess. So uh, let's go in the mine and we'll show you what we've done. Hi everyone, welcome to the Yankee Boy Mine. We're now open for tours. These are some of our rocks we have underneath the ground. And I took Sharon for a helicopter ride on her birthday. So, um, so we're going to show you some pretty crazy stuff. We got through the number two shaft into the back. Now, we had to rope down a bunch of stuff that's really crazy steep under there. Uh, don't worry if uh, you're coming for a tour of the mine, you won't be doing any of that kind of stuff. Uh, the tours of the mine are just in the bottom hall level going back. So uh, right now we were able to get back 600 feet and uh, now uh, we'll be able to get you guys back about 900 feet. So lots of cool stuff to see on the main hall level. Um, but this is a, a pretty extreme adventure getting back in there and having a look at it. And uh, we're going to uh, build up some bridging and stuff to get past the number two shaft to get you guys further back. So a uh, really exciting milestone for us. We've been working, we've taken almost 2,000 loads of ore out to get to this point. So we'll show you how we got there and uh, and uh, all the other passageways above it. It's a very interesting mine. We've got lots of cool stuff in there, but we wouldn't uh, take you guys anywhere where it's not safe. And uh, there wouldn't be any work, uh, rope work or anything for um, for tours or anything like that. It'll all be fairly level going with uh, steps and stairs and to keep the, you guys all safe. But we have a lot of fun uh, showing you guys all these other interesting parts of the mine. And uh, we'd love to have you come up for a visit. So... We'll show you what we found this week. It's really exciting. Franklin just brought the last load out with the car and it was right full of big pieces of wood and lots of wet muck. And he says he's almost through. He says air is screaming through there. You can see way up the hole. So I'm going to sneak in on him and check it out. <laughs> <laughs> you scared me! <laughs> you tried to be a mine coolie? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't jump that much, did I? Yes, you did. I said I was sneaking in to see what you were up to. Just give it a push and up there. 
point. We're at the number two shot. We're going to make it through. There we go. We're looking up what we think is the last car before we can show you the top of the mine. seen parts of ladders and all kinds of uh, stuff. as far as I can. This is what it looks like up the shop. The air is just screaming down here. Wow. Look at that, eh? You want my flashlight? Yeah. Wow. Feel looks like I just climbed right up there. I could, you know. It's huge. Should I? No. It looks safe. Yeah, right. <laughs> wow. Now I think we should go from the top down. We'll go tomorrow. I think we've done it. I think we're up, uh, we've got it cleared. Mm -hmm. So let's go up to the top and uh, see what's up there and see if we can want to throw a golf ball down there and see if it lands right here. I bet you it will. Tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah, not, not tonight. <laughs> On a Franklin adventure this evening and thought we could go to the top added in the side by side. Had a little spin out. So now I've hooked the winch to that poor little tree up there. Whoa. And hopefully the tree will stay rooted. 
did in the side by side will come up. So far, so good. Uh oh, uh oh. Yikes, I'm gonna get run over. Here he comes. All right, the wingman and I are at the new adit or portal that we dug out here and uh, we're gonna head take the ladder down there and we're gonna head into the number we're gonna head for the number two shaft we'll just pass it to her we can dig it out a bit more but we can get in there when we're, we're skinny enough so another ladder adventure mm -hmm. yeah. ladder and rope somewhere normal looks good I look good right in it oh yeah <laughs> look at that smiley face perfect camera check pass okay <laughs> <laughs> so here we are at the what's called number one add it on the map number one portal sure number, number one. one portal on the map Ugh. do you go in your butt no your rocks I don't have my hoodie, so don't even say that. Hmm. Too wee. Pretty nice getting down there now. We can use your old arm. There he is. Yeah. All right, I'll put my bag on the camera. So, we used to come in up there. That's where the treacherous, ugly ladder was. Now it's down there. You can see the vein up there, eh? See? Are they mine? Yeah. See the quartz vein up there? Pretty yeah. nice vein. I see it. I just wonder why they didn't go any further. Okay, I'll we'll get past you. I'll grab the ladder. Sure, a lot nicer than it used to be, eh? So far. And there's the number one slide right there, so we can get up there with this ladder easy and grab the rope. No problem. Look at that cool pillar up there. Top of the stoop there. And Sharon's going to come down and join us here in a minute. There she is. Hey, that's a pretty cool shot. Come on down. You're the next contestant on the Price is Right. Where are you? Oh, yeah. There. Yeah, no problem. We can get up the ladder to the slide easy. It's not very far. It almost seems like we should almost throw more stuff down here to fill this up a little better. Make it easier. We could eliminate that. We could find some more loose material. It shouldn't be too hard. Throw it down here. There you go, that's how it's done. Success, we made it up here with the ladder fairly easily. And there's Sharon over there. Peek your head out there, Sharon, right there. See her? So she's just going to come down here after she takes a couple pictures. And then she can climb up the ladder and join me. And see the ladder there? Yep. Yeah. Then we'll go down the slide, which is a bit steeper than it used to be, but it's all good. We're thinking of tying this rope onto there. Might make more sense. 
Let's just hold them just a little longer. Well, maybe we'll tie it around here and leave a loop. Yeah, that might make sense. And then the rope's not tight going up. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Okay, Sharon's going to ski down here. <laughs> now what? Pull yourself up with the rope. Yep. Right, maybe you should put your sender on or something. Maybe. But then you got this knot, right? So. Oh, you're okay. Idea. Yeah, you can just pull it. You can just come right up here. Oh, okay. Cool. Now, so I was trying to explain to you. I'll, just keep coming up. Yeah. You want to get on the rope? Put your yep. something on? Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay, you have a choice. What? Would you like to just uh, climb up the ladder and I can just give you a hand, or do you yeah. want to be on rope? I'll climb up the ladder. That is the number one slide. Right there, so Sharon's up there. I'm just waiting for her to come down. And we're looking down. That's looking down at the number two shaft. That's where we're gonna head down next. There's some very pretty blue and green in here tonight. Up there also. Really cool colors. Okay, Franklin is down the number one slide, so I'm going to head down there, and then we'll be kind of out by the number two shaft. And he says this is the steepest part here, so here we go. <clears throat> oh, all kinds of drill holes up there. That's cool. Okay. Back we go. Oh, that must be up there where we left the ladder, probably. Probably up there is the ladder. Hmm, it is cool in here. Oh, and this is the bottom of the number one slide. It is way bigger than the last time I was in here. Whoa! <laughs> Yikes. Well, that is crazy. All right, she's a bit of a drop off there. Whoa. Long way down, eh? Remember, you used to be able to just step right off of there, eh? <laughs> so I can either pull you over this way or you can just go right down and then get on this rope and pull yourself up here which is what I did and we can eventually knock a whole bunch more stuff down to make that better, the slide I just don't want to knock down too much right now because it's just more to shovel out of the number two then, right? or not shovel do you want me to pull you this way a bit? I can just pull you right over this way just walk over this way here yeah. Will that work? I don't know. I need more slack. Okay. You can just grab onto that other rope now. Yeah. You want me to let you go? There you go. 
and then just pull yourself up. We're loosening up a little bit of stuff going down, but not a huge amount. It's not like it used to be, remember? <laughs> I gotta get up here so I can see what's going on. So this is heading down to the number two shaft. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, getting on the edge. <laughs> Rock! Whoa, rock, rock, watch, watch. Big one. More rocks. Stay there. Lots, lots. Whoa. Big ones. Whoa, whoa. Stay there. Yikes. Well, I can still see his light, but that's about it. Are you all right? Okay. Pretty exciting, huh? Yeah, right. I'm not sure I'm going to come down there. Okay, so here we are. We're down here. And when we had that rope tied up there now, we can't untie it. It's tied right on there. And that stall, look at all that rock that stall is holding up. But that's going to make it pretty unstable because we're underneath that. I think our slide is just about right below us, or like that other level is just right below us. So I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, I mean, we have to try to get that out of there somehow, I don't know how. No, it's not going to make me feel very good working underneath there. And we're not going to drop down there, it's too unstable. Hmm. This is not that good of news because you don't want to work underneath that. This part's okay. I mean, a little bit of loose stuff can slide down there, but this, that's, I mean, that could fall any time, I think. And we've got no way of getting it out of there. We're going to have to build something. Hmm. I don't know what we're going to do here. We're going to have a big landslide that all that stuff could go down. Not that much stuff maybe, but... We're going to have to clean that number two shaft out and uh, somehow build a wall to protect all this stuff. Hmm. We thought we'd be able to go up the number three shaft and come this way across here, but there's no way. Well, wasn't expecting that. Well, there's a hole down there. So, I don't know, this is kind of pretty dangerous. Well, this could collapse. I don't know what we're going to do. Somehow we have to find a way to secure it from below. Yeah, you want to lighten your stuff up. We don't need that hole. <laughs> yeah. Well.
dampen here. Down the rope yes. and chocolate cake. <laughs> oh, that's quite wet in here. It's very wet. Sharon's heading down. This is so slippery. Can never get down before her. She always wants to go first. <laughs> I think I've let you down here first. <laughs> maybe once, yeah. Because <laughs> you want to take a pictures of me or something, maybe. All right, here okay. we go. I'm good, yep. Okay, good luck. All right, see you at the bottom. Yeah. I'll be eating my chocolate cake when you get there. <laughs> I'm going to go up the shop and see if that paint cans are laying on Oh, are you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I could maybe go up. Oh, some ice cream or yogurt. You got some yogurt for me. How do you know? <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you are snooping in the freezer. I, I, I thought I hid it, actually. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> the, this is the easy part now. Just go. It's slippery because it's so wet. Out of the way. So I'm gonna run to the number two shaft while he's coming down the number one shaft. See if his paint can is here. Then maybe I'll bet him whether it's here or not. He doesn't know I was here. Hmm. I see no paint can. Okay, so I'm gonna run back and bet him. <laughs> Good way to test it now, I guess. What the heck are you doing? You're a jolly jumper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you think? Is your paint can there or not? Paint can, yeah. Yeah? I bet we can see it. Hmm? I bet we can see it. What do you want to bet? Uh, chocolate cake. No. Oh, you're going to buy me another one? No. You're going to make Whoever me one. Whoever gets the chocolate cake. I won't like it, but I'll have to eat it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, but, yeah, but that, that doesn't, that's nothing for me. That's kind of not fair. <laughs> Who said him up there? Okay, <laughs> then you owe me a blizzard. This is not bad. <laughs> oh, why not? <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Look at all the stuff that came down. There's a couple car loads here. <laughs> and? Yeah, this is all the loose stuff that fell down. And? You know, all the paint cans there, it's underneath all the rock. <laughs> look at all this pile of rock here, huh? Oh, good, it plugged yeah. a little. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I did a little. Huh. No, the paint can be underneath it. I bet anything. Maybe. You know, there's only like a car or something here, so. But yeah, all that big slide that I saw when I was in the shaft. This is where all the stuff ended up. Yeah, a little cleanup to do here. Yeah, we're pretty sure we're through the shaft, though. Sure, it looks that way to me. Clean this up. Dismantle the shaft, and we've got to build somehow something solid right above us to protect us. There, today is the day after we come down from that shaft and had a look there. So we uh, mucked uh, the, the loader so that was laying on the ground and. We found our spray can was underneath all the muck there. So that confirms what we thought, that um, the shaft is now clear. So there's a little bit of stuff down there from that landslide that kind of come down the chute that uh, 
uh, that you saw yesterday on the film. So basically the air is coming out. There's not very much material. Only maybe a couple of loads left. So unfortunately it's not going to be safe for us to go up that shaft or down the shaft because you've got those massive boulders above our heads there. Yeah, so we've had a pretty good day. We've cleaned out quite a bit. So we're just going to... It looks pretty good up there. We're just going to poke our head up there as far as we can. Let me show you. But we can. Boys, oh, yeah, okay. Oh. If I hadn't already been up to the top and know what's up there, I'd, I'd climb, right, climb right up there. But I know better. Can't do that. <laughs> pretty cool though. So we're down here the next day and uh, we reached a milestone of sorts. Um, on our count board here we've actually hit exactly 2,000 loads. And so what's happened last night since we were, uh, since we lost seeing you guys, um, there's a whole bunch of material that slid down. Uh, I've taken out five loads so far. So that just kind of underscores how uh, treacherous that uh, number two shaft is. I was too nervous to climb down it or go up it because I thought it was too unstable and uh, I guess it turned out to be right because it's uh, a whole bunch of stuff has slid down. We don't know how much but we're going to keep working on it for you. We're ready to start dismantling our chutes. So right now we're at um, 2,021 loads and we're going to take our chute apart and get into the second part. Into the second shaft, past the second shaft. There we are. Now we've uh, dismantled the ore chute, the number two shaft, for the last time. Uh, we'll leave that timber in there. That was a big rock that uh, we were actually working over top of. We're going to have to jackhammer that out. And uh, so we haven't had any stuff sliding down here for the last day or two. Pretty cool looking up there. So there's a fair sized room in here. We're going to muck all this out and then we're going to build something to block that with. Oh, it's a stope. Oh, a very large stope going up. Huh. I hadn't really imagined it like that. Interesting. Get this rock out of here, and then uh, we'll be able to see what's going on here. There, I'm busy uh, drilling this big rock that was blocking the thing. We got it down a little bit. We got about four cars out so far, and I'm uh, just going to use the rock hammer there, which has performed really well. Thanks, Jeff Williams. Yeah. He's the one that turned me on to this extreme rock hammer. It's like 250 bucks. It's amazing what it'll do. So we're breaking this up. And uh, we're going to do something that we probably shouldn't. I had a quick little peek up here without the camera. So if I could do it without the camera, I can do it with the camera, right? <laughs> I'll show you guys what we got here and why it's kind of hazardous. All right. So looking up. I guess the only way to do this is actually get up here. Really? The reason why it's kind of hazardous. Hey, look at that. Look at the bottom of this massive stoop. There's the other platform. There's our ropes right there. Oh, that's solid rock right there. There's a little lip here, a little bit of stuff in there. I don't know if there's another tunnel there or what. Ooh, that's kind of dangerous, eh? That's that lip we were standing on up there. 
And there's a whole bunch of nasty rock above that platform there. And below it. Huh. That's pretty cool, eh? So, while we're up here, we might as well check this out. So I thought, here we go, past the clots. In there. Now we've already roped down that we've been down there. There's the main hall level. Pretty sketchy, eh? Maybe it'll jump you. I thought something fell from the top there. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah. There you go. So, we made it through then, eh? <laughs> That's her. So we're going to be very careful and build timbering and stuff in here to protect us from anything falling down. Let's go and then hopefully nothing will fall down here. So, pretty cool. Yeah, we're going to take timbering like that, have it going right across there, and build a big solid roof on top of it, and then put a bunch of loose stuff on top of the roof. So, uh, huh. I'm going to take you guys back another 400 feet at least. We're back 650 here. We'll be able to go back to 900, I think. Another 300 feet, I guess. Well, that'd be pretty cool. It won't take much longer. That's not a lot of material, but obviously we've got to make it safe. This is a pretty good mountain as you're looking down there, but yeah. Everyone, thanks for joining us this week. We have a show every week, so we'll see you next week. Uh, check out our new merch page. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Music is by the Addits.